Hello, welcome to the Movie Zone. Today we are recapping the popular 2020 romance drama 365 Days, a sexy film about gangs, obsessions, and abducting strangers. As usual, spoilers ahead, so be ready. Let's begin. A meeting between the big-time Torricelli crime family and a group of black market dealers is currently taking place. The head of the family refuses an offer of taking young girls and leaves the negotiating table. The dealers clearly aren't happy with this. Meanwhile, Massimo Torricelli, the heir to the family's business and wealth, sees a beautiful woman on the beach through his binoculars. His father lectures him on work-life balance and how it's time to stop thinking about fun and pleasure. One day, all of this will be yours. Suddenly, a gun is fired and blood splattered on Massimo's face. The dealers shoot them both. Massimo survives, but unfortunately, his father does not. Five years later, Massimo followed in his father's footsteps and became the leader of the Torricelli family. In another part of the world, Laura Beale discusses important matters with high-level people in the business. When she gets home, she is greeted by her boyfriend, Martin, who brushes her attempts at initiating bedtime tango with him. With no one to satisfy her desires, she opts to grab her trusty pink vibrator and make her night a little less lonely. Laura celebrates her 29th birthday with Martin and some friends. Martin arrives and reveals he went ahead and did some sightseeing at Mount Etna without Laura. Frustrated, Laura decides to take a stroll around town. She runs into the mafia boss Massimo, who kidnaps and brings her to his villa. She wakes up in the morning in an unfamiliar place and is locked inside her room the entire day. When nightfall comes, she notices the door has been unlocked. She's finally free to leave the room. She explores the villa for a short while and finds a huge portrait of a woman hanging on the walls of the fireplace, oddly resembling her. Are you lost, baby girl? Massimo asks as he appears behind her. He reveals the reason why he kidnapped her. Apparently, she was the woman he was eyeing out during the negotiation that killed his father. After his injury, his interest turned into an obsession and started searching for her. Finally, he finds her at an airport and is determined to make Laura his property. He wants to make her fall in love. And what better way to do that than to kidnap her, keeping her prisoner for an entire year. She tries to leave the place, but Massimo blocks her. I won't do anything without your permission, he says as he gropes her without permission. The following months consist of them playing back and forth cat and mouse games. Laura likes to tease Massimo with lingerie and revealing dresses. If Massimo takes the bait and is aroused, she blue balls him, refusing to take it any further. Although after a while, they start opening up, revealing more and more details about their life. Laura is teasing him again when he grabs and cuffs her to the bed. He forces Laura to watch as he has a good time with another woman. After that strange encounter, Massimo releases Laura and asks her to get dressed for a visit to the club. Laura returns to her room and takes a minute to process what just happened. At night, she arrives at the club and again chooses to annoy Massimo. She wears a dress that's a bit too short for Massimo's liking. Don't provoke me, Massimo says. She continues her antics by flirting with a man from another mafia family. The man actually starts acting freaky and gropes her. Massimo sees this and rushes to Laura's rescue by dual wielding his handguns. In a tense moment, Massimo and his friends point their guns at the opposing family as Laura is taken out of the club. The next morning, Laura wakes up on a yacht. Massimo and a fellow mafia member, Mario, are arguing about something. Things are getting heated when Laura steps in and tries to apologize for her actions. Massimo reveals he shot the man's hand as a punishment. This starts a mafia war between the two rival families. He blames Laura for the mess, and the two start arguing and throwing curse words around. Laura accidentally falls off the ship. Massimo jumps in to save her from drowning. The two then passionately bang non-stop after she regains her consciousness. Massimo says he'll be taking Laura to a ball tonight. Laura's concerned about not having clothes to wear, so she visits some fashion designers to pick out the best outfit for her. In the evening, they arrive at the ball fully suited up. They seem to be having a great time when a woman named Anna interrupts them. She introduces herself as the first and real love of Massimo. Expressing her disappointment, she caresses Massimo's face and threatens to kill Laura. She then gives a final scornful look and walks away. Laura demands an explanation. Apparently, 
She's the ex-girlfriend of Massimo and was dumped the day Laura landed in Sicily. He assures Laura she'll stay safe in his care and will handle Anna. In the meantime, he'll be sending Laura to Poland to meet her family and friends. She'll be accompanied by another mafia member, Domenico. Their ride to the airport is going smoothly when Domenico receives a mysterious phone call. He tells Laura to wait in Poland for now. He then drives away in a rush. She arrives in Poland and reconnects with Olga, her best friend. She tells her everything that has happened till now, dumping Martin, how she met Massimo, and every other adventure she experienced. The two go on a BFF spa day to prepare themselves for the club. They arrive at the scene, and Laura has clearly undergone a major makeover. The two indulge themselves in nightlife experience. Laura runs into Martin, who's looking to give an apology. Laura tells him to leave her alone, but he stays persistent and follows her to her room. To their surprise, Massimo was waiting for her and tells Martin to leave her be. Martin leaves, and the two share an intense and passionate moment together. While they're going at it, Laura unbuttons his shirt and discovers the wounds inflicted by the ongoing conflict between Massimo and the other gang. Laura's concerned and tells Massimo she loves him. He proposes to her in the morning, and Laura says yes. Massimo wants to meet Laura's parents and goes on a shopping spree for clothes to wear. They arrive at a wedding where they await to meet him for the first time. Laura warns him not to tell them of his gangster status. Laura's father invites Massimo to talk over some vodka. Mario informs Massimo of the rising family tensions. Laura arrives at the meeting and mentions not feeling well. Massimo tells her to visit the doctor, but she brushes it off and quickly changes the topic. No one from Poland is allowed to be at their wedding, even her parents. He says he doesn't want them to know what he does for a living. Laura says, fair enough, but asks to at least let Olga be at her side. Massimo agrees and lets her become a bridesmaid. He abruptly ends the conversation and leaves Laura and Mario at the table. Laura smiles at Mario and says, I think you don't like me. Mario says it's nothing personal. He just hates the whole situation Laura inadvertently created. He tells her she plunged the family into a state of confusion. He then grabs his hat and bids her farewell. When Olga visits her, Laura reveals she's pregnant. Olga persuades her to inform Massimo about it. To prepare for the wedding, Laura tries her wedding dress on while Olga and another mafia member accompany her. Later that day, Laura decides to call Massimo and ask if they can talk after dinner. Meanwhile, Mario the mafia member receives a call concerning the safety of Laura. A rival mafia family is on the way to kill her. Mario rushes to inform Massimo of the dangerous situation his fiance is facing. Mario arrives and leaves his vehicle, rushing to see Massimo. Laura's car enters the tunnel, but nothing comes out of the other side. Something bad might have happened. Mario arrives. It's too late now. Massimo falls to his knees and cries. What do you think about this movie? Tell us in the comments below. Check out other episodes of our channel. And be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.